Let's talk about RD Barbell. <laughs> RD barbell is a simple move. You have any two things in the whole universe. We relate them. That's the R part, right? The relationship is the R part. And then we're going to distinguish and give a name to the relationship. That's the D part. And so we call that an RD barbell. Very simple move. Happens all the time. All relationships are RD barbells. I'm thinking about, we were talking about some of our summer plans and travel plans. We we're talking about visiting Niagara Falls. Yes. So yeah. Niagara Falls. Is, a, you know, you have Lake Ontario, you have Lake Erie, something yep. like that, maybe like that. And then there's, you know, Niagara River between them. The falls is part of that. So, you know, this little river here between the two lakes is an RD between Lake Erie and Ontario. Called That's an RD Falls. barbell. So it could be a physical thing. Yeah. Actually. Yeah. A physical thing. Yeah. Oh, so that makes me think about if you remember, we were talking with a team. They were struggling with uh, the idea of divisional or organizational silos. Ah, uh, yeah. Remember? Yeah. And we were talking That's about, um, you were talking about the fact that you had divisions are there for a reason, but then. Sometimes those divisions have to actually interact. Does that apply in this case? Yeah. So if you have a, if you have a bunch of different divisions or departments and they're existing in silos in your organization, and that's this part whole system, but each one of these silos, uh, the reason it's a silo is because there's no relationship and because we haven't distinguished what those relationships are between all these different silos. So we want to distinguish right. the relationships between the parts. And so each one of these is an RD barbell. This is an RD barbell, an RD barbell. All well, of them. I would imagine when people are looking at that, they might walk away thinking, oh, we relate them. Mm -hmm. So the R part's clear, but why is the D part important? It's really important to be able to talk about it, to be able to language it, to be able to talk specifically about what is that relationship, what's it based on, what's maybe what's its function, why does it exist, what are we trying, what what's its goal. Right. So we usually give it some kind of name, just like, you know, two people, you know, you have two people and, and the relationship could be that they're dating or it could be that uh, they're married. Those are right. different distinctions, right? So it changes the relationship. By changing the distinction. So if you imagine in your silos example, if one of those circles is the product development team and the other circle is the customer sales or support team, then it's important that they're related. But a lot of people are creating a thing called a product manager. Mm -hmm. So that's the D part, right? Naming that the product manager. Yeah, the product manager is a really important uh, position that kind of is connecting the, the sort of sales side of things, the customer right. side of things with the product development or engineering side of things. And that's what makes them the actual physical relationship. Okay, so let's let's be somewhat um, professorial in a, sec in a moment. Okay. So I was thinking about our students this last semester. Yeah. Several of our students were working on issues of hunger. There were things like food waste, and there were things like world hunger, and each of our students in their own way were trying to, I think, RD that relationship between waste and hunger. Yep. And, and then they would write their entire paper on that relationship. On that relationship. Yeah, Is that, that right? happens all the time. Like a lot of dissertations, you might spend six years studying a relationship between two things. So all you're doing is an RD or an R, or another move called an RDS, which is yes. adding the part whole system yes. to the relationship. But we can leave the, the audience with that. Yeah. What is the relationship really between, a mark in there. put a big question mark there, what's the relationship between world hunger and food waste? So the, the RD barbell sometimes just sets up a question that yeah. you then have to figure out the answer to. And I think if that move gets people to ask themselves, how are these two things related? Yeah. That is a big step. Big step towards cognitively and mental fitness wise. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Mental fitness. Gotta RD the bar barbell. The barbell. Mental fitness. There you go. <laughs>